All right, guys, pay attention because I won't repeat myself. Match the correct color and symbol upstairs with glow sticks. Bring a spare, impossible to see without one. Any of you geniuses got a clue? It's straightforward. We need to find glow sticks. There are four colors on the wall, so likely four different color glow sticks are needed. I think Barack's right. We should focus on matching those colors first. It's like a puzzle, only less fun. Or maybe we're supposed to find some aliens in these back rooms, fight them, and then use their blood as a clue. Sounds like a bad sci-fi movie plot, huh? Joe, that's the dumbest thing I've heard, and I've heard a lot. Let's stick to Barack's plan. It's bad, but not alien hunting bad. Donald, try to keep an open mind. Maybe Joe's on to something, though. I doubt aliens are involved. Aliens or not, let's just find these glow sticks. I feel like I'm in a bad episode of The Twilight Zone. Well, I found a green one, and the blue ones aren't far away. Looks like finding these glow sticks won't be a problem. Now we just need to figure out where the hell to use them. Let's just walk around and find out. It's like a treasure hunt, except more annoying and less rewarding. I think it's upstairs, but be careful. There's a strange corridor up there, pitch black with some freaky red eyes lurking around. Yeah, sure, Joe. You see red eyes? Did you even take your medicine today? Or are we just part of your hallucination? Red eyes or not, let's not take any chances. Joe, lead the way, but everyone stay sharp. And Donald, keep the jokes to a minimum. We're not at a roast. I'm beginning to think the scariest part of this game is Joe's directions. Are we sure following him is a good idea? Hey, I resent that. I might wander off course sometimes, but I always find my way back, usually. Holy shit, Joe was actually right for once. That big monster with the red eyes, it's a party-goer entity. Joe, I hate to say it, but you were on point. No shit, Sherlock. When I say there's an entity, there's an entity. Glad you finally caught on, Donald. All right, all right, you were right. I was wrong. Happy now, Joe? Yes, very. It's nice to be acknowledged for my sharp eyesight. Well, that's some good news. If Joe can spot an entity, we might stand a chance. But an entity being this close and not attacking, that's got to mean something. Yeah, it's strange. The entity was only like two or three meters away from me, and I wasn't even crouching. Maybe it's blind, or there's some other trick to it. We need to figure this out. Let's not jump to conclusions. We need a strategy to deal with these party goers. They might have a pattern or weakness we can exploit. Right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to be careful. Look, it's still there and moving. Maybe we need to crouch like in that level with the dot radar, right? Donald, you moron, that was a different entity. These are party goers, some of the most vile and dangerous entities in the back rooms. We can't just crouch and hope for the best. Everyone stay cool, Barack's right. We can't underestimate these things, but we've got to stay focused and find a way through. We still don't know if they can see us in the dark or not. Joe's got a point. Let's not panic. We need to observe their behavior, see if there's a pattern. Maybe there's a way to avoid them without getting noticed. Fine, we'll play it your way, but we can't just stand around here. Oh my God! Shit, George is down. Everybody find a place to hide now. This isn't a drill. Is it gone? Who's gone? George, you all right? Well, folks, looks like I'm out. I'll be your eye in the sky now. Good luck down there. Whoops. Are you kidding me, Barack? Did you just get taken out by the same damn thing? Well, Donald, it seems I've joined the Spectral Squad with George. This entity is no joke. Joe, just keep your head down and follow my lead. We can't afford any more screw-ups. Why should I follow you, Donald? You're the one who led us into this mess in the first place. Listen, Joe, cut the crazy talk. We need to work together if we're gonna get through this. This level isn't as hard as it looks, damn it. We stick together, move cautiously, and keep an eye out for any clues or patterns. Cautiously, he says, as if he's ever been cautious in his life. This guy, I tell you. You know, Donald, I've been around the block a few times. Been in the game long enough to know a hawk from a handsaw. And right now, you're asking me to follow your lead like some wide-eyed rookie. But let me tell you something. You might have been the big man in the boardroom, but out here, in these, these godforsaken back rooms, it's a whole different ball game. Joe, I get it, you've got experience, but this isn't politics, this is survival. Survival, he says. Look, I've survived more political battles than you could imagine. But this, this is like being in a bad dream. You know, I remember my grandpa used to tell me, Joey, the measure of a man is not how he starts, but how he finishes. And I'll be damned if I'm going to finish my days lost in some twisted game, following your half-baked plans. What the, Joe, this isn't the time for grand speeches. We need to focus. Focus? You're talking about focus? I've been focused since the day I stepped into the Senate, focused on serving the people, making a difference. But this place, it's like nothing makes sense. It's all just chaos. You know, I remember when we had to navigate the health care bill through Congress. Now that was a challenge, but at least I knew the rules. Here, there are no rules, no rhyme or reason, just monsters and madness. He's really getting philosophical for no fucking reason. 
Yeah, but he's got a point. This place is nothing like anything any of us have faced before. All right, Joe, I hear you. But right now, we need to work together. We can't afford to let our differences get in the way. Work together? Yeah, I suppose you're right, for all our sakes. But just know this, Donald. In here, it's not about who's in charge. It's about making it out alive. So let's do this. Together. Are we supposed to do a fucking ritual here or what? Are you saying this because of the don't turn around with a smile on the wall or because of the pentagram on the floor and shit? Yeah, Barack, mostly because of the pentagram. This is some creepy stuff. Feels like we're in a horror movie. Mmm, guys, maybe we should leave this place, don't you think? It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Reminds me of a bad B movie, and I'll tell you, I've seen plenty of those. Come on, Joe, where's your sense of adventure? We can't back down now. We've got to figure this out. Adventure? Donald, I'm all for a good thrill, but this is pushing it. I mean, look at this place. It's like something out of a nightmare. We barely know what we're dealing with. Well, one thing's for sure. We can't just stand around debating. If there's something to this pentagram... Exactly. Barack gets it. We're here now. We might as well see what this is all about. All right, guys, I'm golden. I've got every single color of these glow sticks. Time to find the right spot and get out of here. Ah, there we go, the red one. You guys are doing something useful, right? Sure, Donald, I'm fueling up for the next challenge, you know, maintaining brain power and all that. You know, this story from the Lord of the Rings is fascinating. It's about courage, adventure, and uh, what were we doing again? Just existing, Donald. Existing and enjoying these fries. Hey, at least I'm not causing any trouble, right? You guys are unbelievable. Here I am trying to solve this puzzle, and you're all on a snack break. This is like trying to run a country with a team of kindergartners. Hey, don't knock snack breaks. They're essential for strategic thinking. Plus, you know, yogurt is good for your health. And there's nothing wrong with a good story, Donald. Sometimes you find wisdom in the most unexpected places. And besides, Donald, you really shouldn't be talking. You do this every single time with your dirty Big Macs. Don't think for a second that I've forgotten about your famous menu choices. Barack, a man's gotta eat, right? And there's nothing quite like a Big Mac to fuel the strategic mind. It's practically presidential food. Presidential food? More like fast food monarchy, Donald, but hey, whatever keeps you going in these back rooms. Big Macs, yogurt, fairy tales. We've got quite the eclectic mix here, but I'm not complaining better than eating pretzels, I guess. You know, George, I think I preferred it when you were just eating fries and staying quiet. This back room adventure is turning into a weird picnic. A weird picnic with potential monsters lurking around every corner. So Donald found anything yet with those glow sticks? Or are we just going to stand around discussing fast food? Yeah, Donald, time's ticking. We can't spend all day in here. We've got levels to beat and um, more stories to read. I swear, Joe, one of these days I'm gonna, you're just sitting around eating and reading while I'm busting my butt off on this mission. It's like I'm doing everything alone here. Oh, lighten up, Donald. It's not like we're on a tight schedule. Besides, you're the glow stick expert. We're just providing moral support. And don't forget, Donald, teamwork makes the dream work. We're all in this together, even if it means some of us are better at finding glow sticks and some are better at leisure activities. Exactly. And while you're out there being all heroic with those glow sticks, we're making sure morale stays high. Consider it an important part of the mission. High morale. I'm surrounded by monsters and you're treating this like a vacation. Just make sure you're ready to move when I find the way out. Ready whenever you are, Donald. But no rush, really. We're quite comfortable here. Yeah, Donald, take your time. We wouldn't want to interrupt Joe's story time or my yogurt break. Seriously, I'm not kidding. If you guys don't start helping, I'll just leave. I don't care. I'm not here to babysit anyone. Hey, Donald, relax, man. We're all in this together, remember? No one's saying you're not doing a great job. We appreciate it, but you've got to chill a bit. Chill? You want me to chill while we're in this crazy game, risking our lives? I've been leading the charge here, and what have you been doing? Reading fairy tales? Listen, I know it's risky, but hear me out. If there's really just one party goer entity, we might be able to outmaneuver it. We've faced tougher challenges before, haven't we? Barack, this isn't about guts or glory, it's about survival. We can't just rely on speed and luck. This place, it's a maze and we don't have a map. Donald's got a point, but sitting ducks aren't going to last long either. We need a balanced caution and action. What if we split into pairs? One pair scouts ahead, the other covers the rear. That way we have eyes in both directions. Splitting up could work, but it increases our risk. We need to stay within earshot at the very least. You know what, do whatever the hell you want because I'm sick of this. I'm the one who's nearly passing out here. I'm counting on you guys this time. Donald, don't let the fatigue get to you. We've all got to pull our weight. Let's not let it fall apart now. 
I'm just saying I'm not the only one with brains here. You guys figure something out. I'm just damn tired. But we've come too far to give up now. We'll take the lead for a bit. You just follow or stay near that table if you want. What the fuck? Well, fuck my life then. All right, guys, not gonna lie and sorry for saying this, but this place gives me the creeps, literally. Joe, you get creeped out by everything, so I don't think your feeling is a reliable indicator right now. What's even giving you the creeps, Joe? The atmosphere, the almond water, your dementia? Ah, uh, very funny, Donald. It's just the vibe of this place. It's like walking through a horror movie. Holy shit, guys, it's the blue guy entity. These are friendly, don't worry. You mean the one we saw on the poster the last time we played? Those things actually exist? Listen, guys, I don't give a shit if it's the Loch Ness Monster. If they're friendly, it's the first good news we've had in this crazy place. Let's zip up and follow them. Just be careful. Even the friendly ones might have a few tricks up their sleeves. Obama, stop being paranoid. It's a blue guy, not a blue devil. Let's see where they lead us. All right, but if this goes south, I'm blaming you, Donald. Remember, you vouch for the blue guy. Joe, if it goes south, we'll probably all be too dead to blame anyone, so let's just hope Donald's right. Of course I'm right, I'm always right. Now follow the blue guy and let's get out of this level. Here goes nothing. Following a blue entity in a creepy back room, just another day in the office, right? Damn it, Joe. If your brain was as active as your mouth, we'd be out of this hell hole already. Oh, that's rich coming from you, Donald. Remember the last time you had a brilliant idea? We ended up in this godforsaken place. You guys are going crazy. I agree with Barack. Y'all are acting like kids fighting over the last cookie. Shut the fuck up, George. The only thing you've contributed so far is a soundtrack of your whining. Joe, you fucking terrorists, stay down. What the hell are you doing? Bro, come on, I can't press the CTRL key perma. I need to rest my little finger. Guys, if we die here, I leave this game. I'm not joking. We'll leave it, you fuckhead. Why are you even talking, Joe? I talk because unlike some people, I actually have something useful to say. And maybe if you listened once in a while, we wouldn't be in this mess. Joe, the most useful thing you've done today is show us how not to be helpful. And now you're getting cold feet over a friendly entity? Yeah, yeah, dickhead, all right, all right, but if I get arthritis, I'm sending you the medical bill. Arthritis from holding down a key? That's a new one, Biden. Coming from Mr. I get creeped out by everything, that's rich, Joe. At least George's finger is contributing more than your constant yapping. Hey, you know what this place needs? A big neon sign saying Joe's Fun House. I mean, it's already got the weird lights and the freaky corners. Joe's Fun House? More like Biden's House of Horrors? and you're the main attraction with your nutty ideas. Seriously, how do you even tie your shoes in the morning? Oh my God, finally I did it, yes. You mean we did it, right, Donald? It was a team effort after all. Yeah, sure, Barack, we did it, holy shit. I swear that entity was like an alpha predator. Not like you, Joe, no offense. Hey, I might not be an alpha predator, but I've got other skills, like, uh, well, I'm still working on that list. Oh, wait, I think I know something about this level. It's, uh, wait, never mind. I don't know shit about this one. What a surprise, Joe. Always full of useful information, aren't you? I wonder what our objective is here. Any clues, anyone? Maybe we can just find a place to chill and grab a drink or something. I mean, why not? Hmm, you know, I could really go for a Coke right now, a cold one, but knowing our luck, we'll probably find a Pepsi dispenser or something. Okay, okay, hold up. I might not remember much about this level, but I do remember one thing. We need to be extra careful. There might be traps or something worse. Seriously, what's the point of this level? Are we supposed to be tourists now, snapping photos of every weird thing we see? This is absurd. I'm not sure either, Donald. But complaining isn't going to get us anywhere. We need a strategy, not just aimless wandering. You guys are missing the point. There's nothing here for us. We need to go deeper. The real challenge is probably further down, you know, where it gets really creepy. Oh, fantastic. Really creepy. Just what I was hoping for. Next, you'll be telling us there are ghostly whispers and moving shadows. Well, that wouldn't be the strangest thing we've encountered so far. Let's stay alert and keep moving. The sooner we figure this out, the sooner we can leave this level. Joe, are you actually sure you can handle this? I mean, I can take care of it while you just snap the pictures if you want. What was that? I don't know, but I'm shitting myself. 
we are not alone here. 